Hi, in this video, we will discuss the edit mode in Blender. But before we go ahead and work with the edit mode, let's just discuss this little widget here that you may or may not have noticed. So as I highlight this widget, you can see that it sets the object interaction mode. So first of all, make sure you select your 3D object. So in this case, I want to select the sphere. And then when I click this, I can see all the different ways I can interact with my 3D object. I can sculpt my sphere, I can edit my sphere, and these three others are a little bit advanced for this uh, video, so I'm not going to really discuss them. They require tutorials on its own. Uh, but in this video, we will simply focus on the edit mode. But before I go into the edit mode, we have to discuss the object mode, since that is what we've been pretty much working on throughout the beginning of this course. The object mode allows you to control the transforms of the object at its most basic general form. What that means is we can only carry out very, very basic 3D modeling with our selected object. So you can change the position of the sphere. You could change the rotation. You could change the scale. You could distort it by squashing and stretching, say, the z-axis. And that's basically as much as it can go. You can't actually make, say, for example, a 3D character out of it. I mean, for example, if I want to flesh out the nose and the mouth, it will be very difficult. I mean, sure, I can sort of create another object for the nose, say another UV sphere, and it's cute to have a nose like that and all, but it ends up being very finicky to work with this way, and it's not a very proper way of 3D modeling. It, it just ends up giving you more headaches down the road. The way to actually do proper 3D modeling of your object is by going to the edit mode. So here we can actually model the fine details of our object. We can use this UV sphere as our basic building block and then go ahead and model the final object that we want to model. And that is only possible through the edit mode. So if I want to model a nose now, it tends to be a lot more uh, easier. Um, obviously that, that isn't a very good nose, it's a pretty shoddy one, but it, it is much better than you know using a UV sphere since you have everything in one unified mesh and given that I spend a bit more time with this this will turn out to be a lot better in the final run and this is generally what will convert your UV sphere into that Shrek or that avatar character you can't do it through the object mode you can go into the edit mode by clicking the object interaction mode and then clicking edit mode or the shortcut key is to simply press tab so when you press the tab key you can toggle in and out of edit mode so in summary, the object mode allows you to transform the object in its most general overall view, whereas the edit mode allows you to flesh out the details of your 3D model and by working directly on your mesh. Now the edit mode contains a lot of 3D modeling concepts and tools, which is one of the reasons why I don't want to go into great detail in this course, at least, just want to focus on introducing you to Blender. I'd probably focus this on a separate course that, are, that is solely dedicated to 3D modeling. So, I hope this video has been useful to you and that you've learned something. Um, keep blending and I hope to see you in the next video.